Kaplan joins us now in an exclusive interview. It's good to have you here, President Kaplan. So, so if we got a federal mask mandate in this country, what would that do to your economic forecast? So my comments are based on, on a range of conversations I've had over the last number of months with epidemiologists, infectious disease experts, and they pretty much agree that if we all wore masks, we would substantially mute the transmission of this virus. And it's clear uh, that the recovery would be better if we could mute the transmission of the virus. In fact, I'm worried that since mid-June, uh, the, the rebound that we expected uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the end of the second quarter and the third quarter is stalling somewhat. And so if we all followed these healthcare protocols, we'd grow faster and we'd have a lower unemployment rate. And it's it, while monetary policy and fiscal policy have a key role to play, at this point, they're not as important as uh, all of us wearing masks and following these health care protocols. Wanted to particularly ask you about Texas, your district, obviously. What is it? Almost 10 percent of our nation's GDP, obviously dealing right. with a heavy rise in case numbers, hospitalizations and death yeah. rates ticking higher. What's the economic impact so far and, and how is that going to look in the coming weeks and months? So we've seen, and the thing I watch most carefully, not only in Texas, but across the country, is hospitalizations. We knew with reopening that cases would rise, but what you worry about is they rise so much you overwhelm your healthcare system. And we've had a dramatic rise in hospitalizations. We're seeing that rise be mute in the last couple of days. We'll just have to see if that continues. But what's the impact? The impact is we're seeing, again, based on our high frequency data we follow, and, uh, and my uh, lots of conversations I'm having with businesses, we're, we're, we're seeing a, a pronounced slowing, probably again started sometime in the middle of June. And so it's not that we're not growing here, but the rebound that we've been expecting is, is been muted and is slower than it would be otherwise. President Kaplan, uh, clearly you already alluded to uh, what we've learned about the importance of, of masks during this reopening phase. Uh, we've also, yeah. I, I think, learned about large indoor gatherings. Uh, so to what extent right. uh, are you worried about when we get to the fall and the weather gets worse in, in a lot of states, uh, particularly in the north, that we'll see uh, an impact of, of that on economic uh, performance then? So what, what we're seeing and what, again, we're told by healthcare experts is the probability of getting the virus, as you said, if you're outdoors, re is reduced. But they're, they're of the view that you should, on the one hand, you should avoid indoor gatherings if you can, and obviously socially distance. But again, if you wear a mask and everyone else wears a mask, they would also say, and they've also advised us, advised me, that it would dramatically reduce the probability of transmission. Uh, but yeah, I think going into the fall, uh, you're gonna see a lot of caution about uh, density inside, social distancing inside and mask wearing inside. And we think that's appropriate. Until we get a vaccine, which, which may be some extended period of time, we've got the ability to manage this virus, uh, but we're gonna have to follow these protocols. And I think that's what you'll see. Uh, I, I would hope and think officials will be urging that uh, as we head into the fall. Uh, President Kavanaugh, I wanted to quickly play a soundbite from Jamie Dimon uh, this morning about the sort of uh, surprising and odd shape of the recession that we're in at the moment. Just to amplify, in a normal recession, when unemployment goes up, delinquencies go up, charges go up, home prices go down, none of that's true here. Incomes right. go down, savings go down, savings are up, incomes are up, home prices are up. So the, you will see the effect of this recession. You're just not going to see it right away because of all the stimulus and the fact, you know, 60 or 30 percent of the unemployed are making more money than they were making when they were working. So uh, it's just very peculiar times. He mentioned uh, the stimulus there, and uh, we're getting close to the date that uh, the unemployment uh, boosting benefit runs out. How important is it that that is extended, or how big an impact will it have if it's not? It, it, with the unemployment rate this high, uh, some form of extension of unemployment benefits is going to be critical. Uh, I, I, I see and I, I, I agree that these benefits will have to be restructured to create more incentives to work. 
but I, I would believe that you, we need to see some extension of these health care benefits when you've got this high an unemployment rate. And, and I'd be optimistic that that will be the case. I think you'll also need to see some additional aid to state and local governments and municipalities who need to balance their budgets and uh, have got a big fiscal hole. Uh, but, but part of the reason incomes haven't fallen is, as was said, the, the uh, unemployment benefits have continued. And that's been an underpinning as we work through this virus.